right, guys. Well, welcome back. Matt and I have some very, very exciting news to share. Give yeah. me phones, buddy. What happened? Um, we talked to the International Space Station uh, using our uh, Yesu VX radio um, and, and we a also homemade, used homemade antenna. That Actually, cool. uh, Dad bought this antenna well, at yeah. the. That's okay. But yeah. So this is cool. called an Aero Yagi. Yeah, it's made of Aero shafts. And and what did we do? So uh, Matt and I have been tracking the International Space Station for, we've been trying this now for how long? Whoops. That's okay. How long have we been trying it? Um, like a lot, like. A, almost a week. Yeah. I, I think I think we finally got it figured out. Yeah. Um, and we have been using a website called ISS, or International Space Station Fan Club dot org. And uh, we've been using these tracking maps and then we have a compass rose, <laughs> and basically each one of these maps tells you when the space station is flying over your location. And these maps uh, typically you have about a 10 minute window when they're flying by. And so Matt and I, uh, today is the 19th of July 2010 and we're in Portland, Oregon. We um, tried to catch them on the, and this is all universal time guys, so, but, it's right now is about four o'clock, just after four o'clock in Portland. Yeah. And we realized when we were standing out front that our window of opportunity is actually right off the back of our house on this particular flyover. So Matt and I came running through yeah. the house. We quickly orientated our compass rose. Yeah, and got it set. And then we used our iPhone to figure out <laughs> where north was and we realized that for this flyby, we needed to point the arrow antenna where? About 352. Yeah, 352-ish. 352 352-ish at about 20 degrees elevation. And Matt and I were out here, we're watching the, the clock. Yeah. And it was clicking by and we thought, oh, it's gonna be another bust. Yeah. And then all of a sudden. It was like UTC or something like that. We heard them talking like, on the radio. Yeah, it was like International Space Station. Um, where were they? Yeah. They said that they were flying over what? British Columbia. Taking pictures. Taking pictures, yeah. And we talked to uh, Commander Wheelock. Yeah. He is the uh, flight commander. He's a colonel in the Army. And um, we gave our call sign. And basically, we just said uh, NA1SS, which is the call sign for the space station. NA1SS, KF7 ETX, Echo Tango X ray, calling CQ, CQ from Portland, Oregon. What did we hear? They were like, CQ, CQ, um, this is the International Space Station. Commander Wheelock. Commander Wheelock, yeah. And then he said, we have you, ETX, ETX. Echo Tango X-Ray. So we actually made our QSO, guys, with the International Space Station, and um, yeah, it, was it was exciting. Yeah. So we're gonna try it again, and, and, and maybe make a video. Um, of us doing it, and maybe he can talk a little. So what happens, not this pass, but the next pass? Do you remember? Isn't it gonna be like, oh no, full moon. Well, it's also gonna be straight, straight above up, our yeah. house, so it's gonna be an excellent. Yeah, it's gonna go whoom. And it's gonna be move. longer and it'll be, there's not many trees, so we'll be able to talk with them longer. I think we got it figured out. Yeah, it's great, it was awesome. All right, so I think I got Matt talked into perhaps getting his license. Yeah. I'm gonna work on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, guys, uh, we're excited. We just talked to the space station. They are traveling at how fast? Uh, 17,000 something. 17,200 like miles an yeah, hour. Faster than like the speed of light, I think. So anyway, thanks for tagging along, guys. And my little radio buddy, Matt Attack. <laughs> I love you. All right. Thanks, Matt. So yeah. we'll try it again. We did it. I just can't believe it. Now we gotta figure it out. I know. Man, I gotta log that. Okay, guys. Well, um, a number of you are following my channel because of the uh, ham radio, and let me tell you, if um, if you're not into ham radio yet, talking to the International Space Station on a uh, little two-meter handheld and a uh, aero antenna totally awesome um, I, can, I, I have goosebumps on my arms right now 
And when Commander Wheelock uh, called out my call sign, um, that was awesome. And uh, <laughs> the look on Matt's face was uh, priceless. So hopefully we'll catch the next one on video for you guys. It happened in a blink of an eye. You, you don't have a lot of time. So anyway, uh, if you're not into ham radio, you should be. It's total fun. I've got my um, space station uh, tracking flyby sheets printed out there. I've got my radio checked and ready to go. It's hooked up to the antenna. And again, just for clarification, the um, worldwide downlink is 145.800. And the uplink for my area, which would include North America, is 144.490. And thanks to my good uh, YouTube buddy and uh, ham radio buddy, AI4QT in Huntsville, Alabama, Will. Uh, he uh, was very kind and responded to an email that I sent him to kind of get me straight and working in the right direction here. So I want to give a big shout out to AI4QT in Huntsville, Alabama. In my mind, the sweetest voice uh, ham radio on uh, YouTube. But uh, well, thanks very much, buddy.